we are here on Maria Major. Between Maria Minor and Maria Major, roughly about 12 hectares of land space. And um, what can be found on Maria Major is, of course, the iconic St. Lucia Weeptail. Which is another reptile that is endemic to St. Lucia. There's the colors of our national flag, coincidentally. The underbelly is a bright yellow. It has a bright blue turquoise tail, and it has the white dots and the black markings along the body. The Maria Islands is actually a biodiversity hotspot. On record, we have seven endemic reptiles in St. Lucia. And believe it or not, out of those seven endemic reptiles we have in St. Lucia, you can find five of these endemic reptiles on Maria Major. And quite a few seabirds on an annual basis are coming here for, to nest. May until September, you get birds nesting on the island and they feed on the mainland. And the species that are more common here are the sooty terns, the bridal terns, the brown noddy, brown boobies. You also have an influx of the scaling the pigeons, um, not necessarily migratory or seabirds, but they find a haven on this island here. We have the world's rarest snake, which is the St. Lucia racer. It's been estimated to have less than 20 adult individuals. We also have the St. Lucia thread snake, the second smallest snake in the world. The other um, reptiles that can be seen on Maria Major are rock geckos, tree geckos, of course the St. Lucia Arnold, which is the normal tree lizard that we see all about the place. There is a whip scorpion, kind of looks like a spider but it falls under the scorpion category. We have three main types of cacti here. You have the, um, the columnal um, cactus or the organ pipe cactus. You have the, globu the, the globular cactus, the more globular ones. And you also have the prickly pear um, cactus here, um, cacti. Maria Island is a well-protected um, ecosystem. It, is a, it was declared a nature reserve in um, 1982. This place is free of Invasive species, alien invasive species. We have a number of other different species of, of indigenous trees that you could find here and, also, and shrubs and a whole bunch of other um, species that are typical to coastal dry forest. In observation of International Day for Biodiversity, this field trip was sponsored by the EU Biospace Project. The Biospace Project is a biodiversity support program for African, Caribbean and Pacific small island developing states and coastal countries and this project is going to be implemented over the next five years in nine of the OECS member states. It was a wonderful experience. Um, for me, I got to see um, two lizards, um, many birds. I think that we should, as best as possible, do our best to conserve that, not just for ourselves, but for our children. Some of the animal species we have here are, are not found anywhere else in the world, so if they go extinct, then that means the future generation will not get to see them. For me, conservation is important to the Caribbean because we use nature to survive. Happy International Biodiversity Day. Um, go outside. It's going to be May 22nd. Have some fun with your family. Climb a mountain, swim in beautiful water, do something fun. Take your kids out, water plants, plant a tree, go out to the beaches, enjoy our biodiversity, but don't destroy. Happy International Biodiversity Day!